guys, welcome to Life with Maynard. Today I've decided to do something a little bit different. So every Wednesday or every other Wednesday, I think the kids and I are gonna be cooking and I'm gonna be showing them how to make some of my recipes that I make. Um, so I guess we can call this the Cooking with Mare edition, right guys? Cooking with Mare? How does that sound? Okay, so today on the menu is eggplant parmesan, but the normal and typical recipe for that calls for a lot of deep frying, a lot of um, breadcrumb, and it's really unhealthy for you. So we decided to change it up and make it a grilled eggplant parmesan. So keep watching to see how we so make I posted it. posted a picture of this recipe, actually the grilled eggplant parmesan on Instagram, and a lot of people were saying that they wanted to see more cooking videos. So if you guys don't follow me as well, I'd like you to follow me and it's life with underscore mayor at Instagram as well I ask people um, if they'd like to see the eggplant parmesan recipe So that's why I decided to make this recipe because a lot of people on Instagram said that they would love to have it So here you guys are Once you've cut the ends of the eggplant, you're going to thinly slice the eggplant into half inch slices. I use strained tomatoes to make my sauce, but you guys can use whatever sauce you have. Once your grill pan is nice and hot, you're going to take the slices of eggplant and you're going to place them on the pan and grill them. Once your onions are cooked, you're going to add your strained tomatoes into the pot or if you're using sauce, you're just going to add the sauce right into the pot and you're going to mix it all in with the onions. Next thing you're going to do is add your spices and seasonings. Now these are what I use. If you'd like, you can add or change up whatever spices that you normally use in your sauce. For example, you can use basil or bay leaf or whatever you prefer. So once your eggplant is grilled, you're then going to grate some mozzarella cheese. Now I use one ball of it, you can use two if you'd like. So here's where the fun part begins. You're going to layer a baking dish, whatever you have, it could be glass, it could be aluminum, with the sauce that you prepared. Once you have all the sauce at the bottom, you're then going to start layering with the grilled eggplant. Once your grilled eggplant is completely covering the baking dish, you're then going to add another layer of sauce.
So you're gonna continue layering up this baking dish with eggplant, sauce, and cheese until your whole baking dish is completely full. The last layer that you're going to do is the mozzarella cheese on top. And after 45 minutes, voila, here you go. This is what came out. How delicious does this look? All right guys, that's the end of my video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Now this meal will probably feed us for about two days. It was really easy to prepare. Romeo, how long did it take us to prepare? Yeah, about 45 minutes. Like 45 minutes to prepare, another 45 minutes to bake. And it was really easy and it came out really good. I'm really pleased with it. And once it's done, all you have to do is sprinkle a little bit of fresh parsley. And if you prefer as well, you can put fresh Romano cheese. However, because I'm not doing too much dairy right now, we decided to opt out for that. But you guys can also add that. So if you liked my video, please give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and put on your notifications so you'll know when I make a new video. Take care guys. Alright guys, that's the end of my video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you guys will also try out making me. Uh